The Manhattan Transfer, you know, we've been around 50 years, and we we like to have fun on the road. Absolutely. Okay? <laughs> and we've had some band members that also uh, love to play practical jokes. We were in Europe. We were in Zurich, I believe. Playing in yes, we were. Zurich. All right. And our record company put on like a party for us at the hotel. It was really nice. There was a whole banquet table. And the centerpiece of the banquet table was roast pig, and a complete roast pig. You know, the head with the apple in its mouth, right? Horrible. Well, for vegetarians, absolutely. Yes, I'm a vegetarian, so for me. <laughs> so we finished the show. Our road manager at the time was a woman named Marcia Wenig. And she and I thought it would be fun to play a little practical joke on our saxophone player, Don Roberts. So we thought, we're gonna, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him tonight. So uh, we concocted this plan. Marsha was all, already friends with the front desk. So she got them to call his room and tell him he had a phone call. Uh, anyway, Don came down to the front desk and, and, and there was a whole, well, what do you mean this? What, what's the message? Oh, sorry, sir, it was a mistake. And then we got his key. I took the pig's head and put it in a bag, went up to his room and put it inside his toilet, looking up, because we knew that he would get completely drunk and he'd have to piss in the middle of the night. Apparently there was a scream in the middle of the night when Don went to the toilet and opened up the top of the toilet and started to have a, have a piss and he saw the pig's head looking up at him. The next day he said, I'm going to get you girls. And he carried that pig head around with him. And yeah, he was he was already plotting. I'm going to put you know bugs in their bunks or whatever. But he was so picks, and he never did get us back. And he he never really did know who did it. But I guess I'm you know it's 50 years now. I'll spill the beans. What the hell? Maybe he he had an idea. Oh, you think <laughs> he had an idea? The band probably said, ah, well, you know, it was the girls, you know. And the aftermath of it all, I I heard the story. I found out the next day because I saw the pig's head. I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs>